Welcome to Northwoods, Wisconsin. How's it going everyone? Welcome back. Back with another video today. I'm going to be showing you how to properly use an offset smoker, how to regulate temperatures, keep a clean smoke. So I have a char griller smoke and outlaw, which is a fairly cheap offset smoker. I think you can normally get it for around 200 bucks. This one cost me like 150 bucks on sale. Anyhow, this is a cheap one. And the reason why it is cheap is because the steel on it is fairly thin. Um, you can go buy a Oklahoma Joe or, you know, you can spend a ton of money and get a Yoder. I don't know all the brands. But you can spend more money and get a better quality smoker and it'll hold temperatures much better than this one will. This one will burn through a lot more wood because it's not insulated or anything very well. And the other ones... You know, it'll hold the temp better, you know, burn less wood, a lot less coming out here and checking on the wood and adding wood to it. You know, if you're cooking a brisket or pork butts or something that's going to take a long time, that gets to be a real hassle. It does anyways, but especially on them longer cooks. So, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you that. The key to it, to an, any offset smoker, is proper airflow and the right size fire. That's it. Basically, you need a ton of airflow going from the firebox here to the stack. So I always keep my stack completely open. I think that's pretty standard across the board. Everybody does that. This only has a vent here that I always keep wide open too. Then I keep that small fan there next to the vent and it blows oxygen through. Now, if you don't have proper airflow, you're going to get a thick white smoke coming out your, your smoke stack and if you got any leaks it's going to be very evident when you have that type of smoke it's going to be coming out from every every direction i do have a few leaks here but right now i am burning a clean fire as you can see here on the smoke stack it's just a thin blue smoke that's just because i just added a log to it um when you first add a log you know if it's cold or something It'll puff a little white smoke before it catches good, and then it'll usually clear up right away. I always keep my wood inside the cooking chamber, too. Keep your wood inside the cooking chamber, let it dry out, let it uh, come up to temp. As soon as you throw it on those coals in there, it's going to ignite almost instantly every time. So, anyhow, if you're using a ton of airflow like I am, you say you got a fan down there and everything wide open on it like I do, you could have hot temperatures then, like you're cooking a rack of ribs or pork butt or anything like that. You don't want it too hot. You want to keep it around 225, 250. I mean, today on mine, I'm, I'm cooking between 250 and 275. But if you want to keep it 225, you've got to have a small fire in there. Like, say, half a, half a chimney of charcoal and then add your wood on top of that. You know, maybe not even half a chimney, depending on how big your pieces of wood are. Um... Because if you use a whole chimney and then you're throwing wood on top, you're going to be 300, 350 degrees, no problem. So the smaller fire and keep a proper airflow. If you got a big fire in there and you got a ton of airflow, you're going to be screaming hot. You're going to burn your stuff. You know, it's going to cook way too fast, going to dry out, whatever the, whatever the case may be. Sorry about the window here anyhow. So we'll pick back up when I need to come back out and regulate more temperature. Okay, so we're back outside now. See the temp has dropped a little bit here, just under 250 degrees. I'm gonna add another small piece of wood here to the fire. See that there? That's a warm piece that was inside the cooking chamber. Instantly has flame on it already. Close that up, and you're back to cooking that quick. 
that's the big difference between adding wood inside the cooking chamber and letting it heat up, get up to temp, and, and adding it to the coals. Instantly going, you don't have to worry about the white smoke when that happens. You know, you don't have to worry about keep the thing wide open until it catches flame, anything like that. Just keep it in there, add it to your to your coals, and you're good to go. You can go back in the house, you can do whatever you're doing before. You don't have to sit out here and babysit it for 10 minutes until it catches flame. And my, my temp's already back up over 250 degrees, as you can see here. So anyhow, that's my video for the day. That's how you run an offset smoker. If you have any questions, please ask down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. If you uh, learned anything here today, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Um, also, if you haven't already, subscribe. Click the bell. You'll get a notification every time I do one of these videos. We'll see you next time.